Welcome back once again to True Power Comics, your home for everything superhero related. Today, we're growing with excitement at this list of the top 6 absolute giants of the comic book world, and if you enjoy, please leave a like. Once upon a time, the hilarious duo of Stan Lee and Jack Kirby came up with a fiery fiend called Searcher. And this dude is no ordinary demon, he's made of living fire. Imagine being so hot even normal flames get jealous. Standing tall at a whopping 1000 feet, calling him a behemoth would be an understatement. I mean, who needs a stepladder when you're that high up? This guy hails from the dimension of Muspelheim, where the flames are eternal and the barbecues never end. He once fought Thor and Odin in a Ragnarok movie, and here's the thing that surprised everyone. Searcher might be huge, but he's got some moves. This guy defies the laws of size and speed. It's like watching a giant flamethrower do the moonwalk. With super strength, lightning speed, and the power to manipulate cosmic energy, Searcher is practically immortal. The Abstract Entities, aka Infinity and Eternity, are the heavyweight champions of Marvel Universe. These guys are so massive that trying to measure them is like trying to count all the stars in the galaxy. Yeah, it's that impossible. When it comes to representing mind-bending concepts like death, oblivion, eternity, and infinity, the abstract entities are in a league of their own. They're like the philosophical gurus of the universe. Their sheer size and weight are so ginormous that it makes Hulk splitting his pants when he grows seem like child's play. Seriously, these titans are so enormous that they make skyscrapers look like Lego bricks. We're talking so massive, they make your brain do gymnastics when trying to wrap your head around their magnitude. You know that DC had to come up with their own version of Galactus, right? Well, they gave us the Anti-Monitor. The big bad guy who's like Galactus, but he's just a smidge bigger than his Marvel counterpart. The Anti-Monitor burst onto the scene in DC's Crisis on Infinite Earths number 2, ready to wreak havoc like a toddler in a toy store. But the Anti-Monitor? He's all about the antimatter universe. It's like his own little twisted playground. But let's talk about his size. Sure, he's only slightly bigger than Galactus, but don't let that fool you. The Anti-Monitor is the cosmic embodiment of Size Matters. He's like a skyscraper of supervillains towering over the puny heroes like they're ants at a picnic. You know you're dealing with a big baddie when even his shoe size could crush a city. Let me tell you about Mogo, the mystery of cosmic proportions. We're talking about a being whose size is so mind-boggling even the universe itself is like, whoa, slow down there buddy. But seriously, Mogo is a true gem. She's like the good-hearted green giant of the cosmos, fighting the good fight alongside the Green Lantern Corps. They should give her a cape made of foliage just to complete the heroic ensemble. Now, when we talk about Mogo's size, it's a total enigma. We're talking about a being whose scale is so unknown the Green Lanterns themselves are scratching their heads in confusion. Maybe she's as big as a galaxy, or a larger planet, but who really knows, because the DC Universe has decided to keep her dimensions a well-guarded secret. After the epic smackdown between the Justice League and the nasty villains from the Dark Multiverse, things got real crazy. The battle cracked open the legendary Source Wall, which is like the bouncer of the club multiverse. Maintaining balance and keeping things in check. Well, that wall cracked. It was like opening a can of multiversal worms. Cataclysmic changes rumbled through all of existence, and out of the cracks emerged four gods known as the Omega Titans. These titans have been snoozing for eons, but boy did they wake up with a vengeance. But that's a whole nother story. Now, I know you're wondering, how big are these titan dudes? Well, grab your calculators because we're about to do some math. According to astronomers, space officially starts about 62 miles above Earth's surface. But when they stomped through Earth, these giants were so massive that more than half of their bodies towered over our measly atmosphere. So, if we do some cosmic math, we're talking about titans that reach a height of around 150 miles tall. That's like having skyscrapers on stilts. It all started when the original gang of mutant misfits picked up a strange mutant signal coming from an island called Krakoa. Curiosity peaked, 
and they decided to investigate. But oh boy, did things take a wild turn. The X-Men went missing on Krakoa, so Professor Charles Xavier assembled a brand new team to find their missing comrades. We're talking about the likes of Wolverine, Colossus, Storm, Nightcrawler, and Thunderbird. It's like a mutant boy band. So off the new team goes to Krakoa, and it turns out that Krakoa was a living island and decided they wanted a little snack and the original X-Men were on the menu. But anyway, when we talk about the size of Krakoa, we're talking about an island that's not just an island, it's a mega continent. This behemoth of landmass stretches out as far as the eye can see with beautiful forests, towering mountains, and vast plains that seem to go on for eternity. So, when you're dealing with Krakoa, you're dealing with a titan among islands. Its size is enough to make the most seasoned adventurers feel like ants in comparison. And that's all folks for our top 6 comic book characters that are bigger than you think. And if you enjoyed, don't forget to let us know by liking and subscribing. Comment down your favorite colossal giant, and we'll catch you next time with True Power Comics.